Do you have a habit of starting a planner, using it for a week or two, and then never touching it again? Only to buy yet another planner or start using a new app and repeat the process? By the end of this video, you'll know why that is and what to do about it. If you struggle with chronic illness, trauma, or depression, and want to go from stuck to unstoppable, subscribe to my channel and hit the bell to be notified when I post a new video every Tuesday. Helping my clients build a planning system and stick to it is one of the things I help my clients with inside my coaching membership, Accountability Muse. Now it's your turn. Let's tackle the biggest myth around this topic, and that is you aren't using this planner system app because it's not the right one for you. Could a different planner system or app be better for how your brain works? Yes, definitely. I am not disputing that. Finding the right organizational and planning system that works for you and your brain, especially if you deal with mental health issues or are neurodivergent, is super important. What I am saying is that automatically assuming it's the planner's fault that you're not using it is what might be getting you into trouble. Because keeping track of and doing the things you need and want to do is probably uncomfortable. You get another planner not because you need one, but because getting a new planner is fun and motivating, whereas using your existing one to facilitate and do your work? That can be a recipe for intense discomfort, fear, resistance, and procrastination. If you're in that description and don't like it, leave me a Scooby-Doo style rut row in the comments below. At the end of the day, a planner, system, or app is merely a tool to help you keep track of, organize, and do your work. So if you find yourself constantly overhauling or replacing your existing system, it's less likely that the system doesn't work for you and more likely that you're simply avoiding the things you need to do. You're coping with that discomfort by procrastinating, which is a way to fool ourselves into thinking we're making progress when we're actually spinning our wheels. For example, would you rather study for that exam that's coming up in three weeks or get a new planner and create a shiny new study plan to follow for the next three weeks? Would you rather email that potential client you've been nurturing for ages or build out a fancy CRM that automatically keeps track of how long it's been since you've contacted someone and reminds you to reach out to them at an appropriate time? Would you rather start writing your first draft or take your existing outline and put it into a fancy schmancy spreadsheet that's color coded and self referencing. My guess is every option B is more enticing. But let me ask you this after doing option B, how likely are you to then actually go and do option A, which is the task you still need to do and we're avoiding by doing option B in the first place? My guess is not very likely. I'm betting you'd stress out about it, beat yourself up, find a different way to procrastinate and perhaps find a new option B to make you feel better in the short term and keep avoiding that now likely even more pressing option A. And that cycle is how things often get left until the last minute. Whee! So what do you do about it? First, you need to accept the fact that a planner system or app is only a means to an end. Finding or building one that works for you and how your brain works is definitely important, but more important, First, you need to consistently keep your planner up to date so you can trust it. Otherwise, you'll be depending on your brain to store important information and you'll no longer trust your planner, which is another reason why planners go unused because they're not actually used and maintained consistently enough to be trusted. And second, you need a system to help you actually do your work instead of avoiding it through procrastinate planning or other coping strategies. Accountability buddies are great for that and so are coaches such as myself. But if you're struggling right now and need a way to get started on your own, I've got you covered there too. Simply check out my free masterclass where I teach you three mindset shifts and one simple three-step system to help you kick procrastination to the curb. All you have to do to get access is go to the link in the description box below and sign up. And if you want to go the accountability buddy route, check out this video next on what to look for in an accountability buddy. If you liked this video, hit that like button and subscribe and be sure to share it with your friends. I'll be back next week with another video. See you then. Bye.